Hello, welcome to your Alex Sports Collectibles with me, James. So today we're going to be talking about an authentic jersey that I have signed. This is the first jersey of the 2015 that I got signed and the only jersey that I have gotten signed in my life, actually. So we're going to be talking about how I obtained this jersey and how is the best way to get your jersey signed. Now, for example, if you do have a jersey, for example, let's say it's number 16, which is Andrew Ethier from the LA Dodgers. Um, it's best to get his signature from him, obviously, because it says Andre Ethier on your shirt and it got the number 16. If you get a number 23, which is Adrian Gonzalez that I have right here on my left, um, then you have to get his signature as well. Now, what I did, I got multiple signatures in one jersey. The way I did it is I got an authentic jersey with no number and no uh, name on the back as well. Now, the reason I do like to grab authentic stuff, which is I won't grab a baseball and get it signed if it's not authentic. Now, I won't grab a jersey as well I, and I won't get it signed if it's not authentic. That's just me. I don't know if how you are or how other people are when they're collecting their autographs. But that's just me and my point of view. Now, on this jersey, I did get it with no number and no um, no name, so I can get multiple players. I did get lots of Hall of Famers, and including the Spanish announcer of the LA Dodgers. Now, I got most of them in separate places. I got some in a, uh, in the Dodger Stadium, which was at. Um, uh, especially signing events that they had and also at uh, Viva Los Dodgers. They do lots uh, of signings for the Hall of Famers and some of them are uh, current players. They let you uh, take pictures with them. So it's pretty cool if you haven't gone to one of those, uh, those events. All right, guys, so here's the jersey that I was promising right here. And like I said, I did get this uh, sign um, by multiple players. Uh, I got Jaime Harin right there, Jaime Harin, uh, Dennis Powell right there, Tim Larry, Rudy Law, Jim Mudcat Grant. Uh, right here, I have the Dodger Scout, uh, which is uh, Mike Brito down there. You can barely see it right there. Uh, Al Fiera, uh, Ron Say right there, uh, Manny, uh, is it Manny Mota right there, uh, Eric Carroll, so I got like, uh, which is, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine players that I got, one, three, six, nine, ten players that I got, and I've been wanting to get more on it, um, now, like I said, I did grab this uh, jersey on the 2015. It is authentic. And right there I have uh, a picture with uh, some of the players that I took uh, during um, Viva Los Dodgers. Right there is the plaque of uh, Andre Ethier and the plaque of uh, Adrian Gonzalez right there. And the best way to display your, uh, your memorabilia shirt it would be with uh, one of these um, one of these uh, covers, which is I think it's uh, pretty cool because it covers with the UV light and everything. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, now uh, I am putting all the names down there in the side of who I'm getting signed on the on the jersey. Now the best way to grab a jersey sign uh, is if you don't have a number in the back and you don't get any number like that you can get anybody who ever you would want on the on the shirt the first one i got is jaime harin right here the spanish announcer and that's me right there for viva los dodgers uh now you better keep your items which is any item that um you're getting signed away from light unless they have a, a protector like this one and the reason is because it does fade either from direct sunlight or regular light from like a light bulb.
I will be getting other players on it. Uh, this is just what I got in 2015. So I think it's pretty cool. I, I, I did go for Viva Los Dodgers. Uh, I had the backstage pass because I was with the band. And um, I was almost this close on getting uh, Adrian Gonzalez's autograph, but their, their securities told me not to uh, get his autograph because I had the band and everything. And I couldn't be doing that behind stage and so and so. So the, I think that was pretty messed up by them, but uh, I mean, there was rules obviously, right? So uh let me show you guys up close of some um some uh signatures how i grabbed them right there and that is eric carroll's signature look how neat that is and alfie alfiera i think that is no that's uh manny mota and bronze right there that is so beautiful right there uh i got jaime harin right there that is up close right there with this hall of fame and everything I got uh, Dennis Powell, Tim Larry, Rudy Law, Jim McCott Grant. Uh, that is uh, the Dodger Scout, Mike Grito, and uh, Alfio. <laughs> Now this is the plaque up close, you guys can see it right there. This is the other plaque, that is uh, Andre Ethier and Adrian Gonzalez. And this is the, the picture I was going to get signed by uh, Adrian Gonzalez, but they didn't let me. But it's good to go prepared, always grab uh, some baseball with you, make sure you have extra baseballs because there's always this extra... Uh, player that shows up and you might not have a baseball um, or something to get signed. Um, the best way to keep your 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 collectibles nice and neat is if you take a, like a, either a backpack with you or something because you are gonna need it. Now when you do go collecting make sure you go prepare such as with a water bottle or some snacks due to the fact that it sometimes it could last up to three four hours just to get a signature from a player now uh best way to get grab your jerseys is i mean it's either black or blue on a jersey um and just make sure you don't stretch it out when they're signing it just um hold it there because if you stretch it out it's gonna stretch it and then uh, once it comes back to where it's, where it's supposed to be, it's not gonna work out the same way. All right guys, that was it from the review. From my shirt uh, make sure you guys subscribe down below look for us on facebook at uh la sports collectibles and just give us a like right, right there uh, we'll be coming up with some other autographs from other uh players and other artists um comment to see if you want another video about anything else or another review about anything else that i might have um if any you have any questions just comment down below share with your friends Ooh.